A worker at the St. Louis Juvenile Detention Center is now out of a job. He's accused of giving THC gummies to two teens in custody who had to be rushed to the hospital. New tonight, Brent Solomon is just back from speaking with a group working to educate on the dangers drugs have on young people. Brent? That's right, Mike. Patrick Harris worked as a child youth specialist at the jail. I've learned the 23-year-old had only been on the job since last month. Since this situation, earlier this month, he hasn't been back to work. These are the felony charges that former juvenile jail worker is now facing. Two counts of endangering the welfare of a child, creating substantial risk. Court records show the former child youth specialist gave THC gummies to two detainees under 17 who were in his custody here at the St. Louis Juvenile Detention Center. Court records show the teens became unresponsive. I don't know why an adult would provide a substance to a child, period. Nicole Dawsey is with Prevent Ed. The group just launched a campaign to help adults better understand the impact legal drugs like marijuana can have on children who cannot get them legally. It looks like the typical effects from getting high accelerated. So your heart rate increases pretty exponentially. You can get dizzy, you can get hallucinations, you can get really nauseous. For children, are those symptoms worse? Absolutely, young people can experience those symptoms at a, at a greater rate than adults. The campaign, which hopes to soon go statewide, is called In the Weeds. And as a matter of fact, we get that all the time. Well, it, 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 I'm not gonna die from it, so it can't be that bad. Well. No, while you're not likely to die from a cannabis overdose, an overdose means simply putting too much in your system that your body starts rejecting it. That can happen when you're taking an edible and you don't feel the effects. So you take a little bit more and you take a little bit more and then all of a sudden it hits you like a brick wall. Those detainees are now out of the hospital. Prevent Ed is now working with youth groups to spread awareness. They've even created parent kits on how to talk to your children about weed. I've placed that info for you on KSDK.com.